brothers and sisters. Has become more important than the health and the well-being of individuals. It's fucked. Whatever it is they're willing to, to spend their money on, then you're stuck paying the rest of your money for life. You have to ground it in the belief that our minds can create lasting change. You have to ground it in the belief that if we put our thoughts to it. The land is coming together like no other, and we're, I'm just so excited to see this future, aren't you? Being here. This is beautiful right here. Yeah! <laughs> Um, you know, let them know that there are a lot of people that are concerned and, and 
I think they need to be more moderate than they seem to be preparing to be. So I think it's important for everyone to be represented, and I have concerns that that may no longer be the case. What is the biggest concern you're in his presidency? Well, I have concerns about the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. Um, I was glad to see that it looks like he wants to retain the um, the uh, stipulation that people with um, pre-existing conditions won't be shut out of health care. So I'm happy to hear that he may want to retain that. But when he was speaking about it, he didn't seem to have a huge grasp of all the ins and outs of the policy, and it's very complex. And <laughs> with our democracy here that uh, the both parties were run by establishments that were uh, in the on the payroll of Wall Street and including Hillary Clinton and I voted for Hillary but I was for Bernie and I I feel that this uh, election was an anti-establishment uh, mandate uh, Trump was sort of a Pied Piper to lead uh, a lot of, of white people who were frustrated with uh, the rigged economy. And I'm afraid that the Republican establishment is just going to replace him with Michael Pence, who's, their, who's one of their own. In any case, even if Trump stays in, it's everything he says he wants to do about immigrants and Muslims and, you know, uh, women's rights, abortion, is, is unacceptable. And we, we can't accept that. And I don't know what we're going to do. We, everybody has to do what they can. Everybody has to join any group that, that they can, that, where they can work together. I wish it isn't, wasn't the case, but I want the country to be successful, but it's hard to imagine how that happens with him at the helm, and the world for that matter. You know, I mean, you have situations like in North Korea where they're fired off something like 22 ballistic missiles this year. Do we trust him to not escalate a situation like that? Or India and Pakistan had border skirmishes this year. Yes. Yeah. That, you know, an American president to deal with these very, very complex situations, both at home and abroad, while wielding the largest accumulation of power ever assembled, needs a steady hand. It needs somebody who knows what they're doing, what they're talking about, and who is mentally fit to do so, and he's just not. through the Electoral College screwing up the 2000 election, and we're here again 16 years later. And one of my biggest concerns, you say you're from Turkey, yes. I just came back from Italy, my very first international trip, my son and I, and I'm concerned how we look to you. I'd like to think, and I don't mean it to be arrogant, that we kind of set the tone for the rest of the world. We care about the rest of the world. We care about the environment like so many other people did, and this guy is going to take us back. So the only thing I can say to your listeners in Turkey and throughout Europe, this is not America. You see the real America. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. We go into a lot of countries and say, your elections are pretty screwed up.